Hi, my name's Sid. I run an exterior cleaning business in the UK and today I'm going to be taking you through cleaning a very mossy roof. So this roof hasn't been cleaned for the 28 years that the homeowners have lived here. Here I'm beginning to scrape the roof so I'm trying to remove as much moss as possible. This is what I'll be doing for the bulk of the day and this is the hardest part of the job. I have the tool that I use, it's basically a flat metal blade uh, angled to one side which means I can get the edge of the tile which usually carries a lot of the moss and scrape the bulk surface of the tile at the same time. I use sort of a side to side motion and it is very taxing on the body so it takes a long time to build up the endurance and strength to do it. So on this roof you'll see a lot of brown and green. This is the moss, you'll also see a lot of white spots people think is fur droppings but this is white lichen. Moss is terrible for roofing and roof materials especially in the UK as we get a lot of damp weather over here so it just tends to grow and fester more and it will grow in between the cracks of the tiles. Now when you have hot weather turn into cold weather the moss will freeze and expand and then end up cracking the roof tiles which can create holes, leaks and things like that in the roof. So this part of the job where I'm on the scaffolding was the hardest. So I use a 40 feet extendable pole with the scraper attached on the end and I was almost at max extension. So the scraper itself is quite heavy and the pole itself is quite heavy. So having that out at a near horizontal level for a couple of hours is very difficult. And as soon as this was done, I was relieved and happy to move on to the next part. So what I'm cleaning here is a four bedroomed house. It's got big flat concrete tiles. So these are some of the best tiles to come across to clean. The surface area of them, and because they're completely flat, it's very easy to get the moss off. You do not get roofs better than this. So it's rare that you'll actually get away with using a broom to clean a roof, as usually the moss is very, very stuck on and it's typically just used for cleaning up. However, on this job, the moss was coming off easy, so in certain sections, it can just be easier just to try and sweep off a majority and then sort of fine tune it with a scraper. So the typical cleaning chemicals that I use in my roof cleaning work is a chemical called a biocide. Uh, what this essentially will do is destroy any of the organic growth left on the roof and it has a residual cleaning effect once I'm gone as well. So there's no rinsing it off, you leave it on the roof to fully dry and soak into the tiles. This will get anything that we can't get to by scraping, so anything that's left in the gaps, any sort of really stubborn stains and marks that are left on the tiles also will slowly degrade. So the brush that I'm using here is a basic water fed pole that most window cleaners would use. That's all you need, it's got four jets in it which will fire out the chemical mixed with the water onto the roof and the brush is just used to agitate that chemical which will help it foam up as you can see. This helps it stick to the roof more as it's a natural surfactant. So what I'm doing here is I'm applying the biocide solution to the roof. Now this is diluted at 25 to 1 with water so for every 1 litre of biocide I use 25 litres of water to dilute it ensuring I'm covering every square inch of this roof, making sure it's completely soaked in. A lot of mistakes people make is not putting enough on and they're left with a very patchy roof. So it's really important to get complete coverage and make sure all of the tiny little gaps are completely soaked. So if you don't fill all of the gaps on the roof with the chemical, then the moss will regrow with a vengeance. The important part is making sure anything organic on this roof is completely absorbing this chemical. So once the biocide completely soaks and dries in, you would never even know it was on there and your results will start to come after a few weeks. The main thing is trusting in the chemical because it definitely will do its job. So it's important to have your roof cleaned because the buildup of moss will over time damage the tiles on the roof, which can lead to cracks, damp, leak, all sorts of issues in your home that you really don't want happening. And if the problem is not treated early enough, then it can lead to very expensive roof repairs in the future. As far as time scale on how often should my roof be cleaned, it is pretty much a one-time deal for the majority of the process as long as it's being kept on top of. And in future, it would just be a light chemical treatment just to keep anything at bay. So the first step is getting it done and then it's a case of maintaining it. 